Hello guys. Welcome to my channel Agriculture Classes. I glad to see you again. Guys today I have a topic to discuss with you on seed technology. In this video I discuss it seed certification with brief description. So friends let's start. As you know that seed is the basic thing to begun agriculture production. Your high yield depends upon good seeds. If seed is degraded or poor then your production is automatically decreases. So friends let's know about seed certification. General seed certification standards. The general seed certification standards are applicable to all crops which are eligible for certification and with field and seed standards for the individual crops shall constitute the minimum seed certification standards. The word seed or seeds as used in these standards shall include all propagating materials. One purpose of seed certification. The purpose of seed certification is to maintain and make available to the public through certification high quality seeds and propagating materials of notified kind and varieties so grown and distributed as to ensure genetic identity and genetic purity. Seed certification is also designed to achieve prescribed standards. 2. Certification Agency Certification shall be conducted by the certification agency notified under Section 8 of the Seeds Act, 1966. 3. Certified Seed Producer Certified seed producer means a person slash organization who grows or distributes certified seed in accordance with the procedures and standards of the certification. Eligibility requirements for certification of crop varieties. Seed of only those varieties which are notified under Section 5 of the Seeds Act, 1966 shall be eligible for certification. Four eligibility requirements for certification of crop varieties. Seed of only those varieties which are notified under Section 5 of the Seeds Act, 1966 shall be eligible for certification. Five classes and sources of seed. A breeder seed. Breeder seed is seed or vegetative propagating material directly controlled by the originating or sponsoring plant breeder of the breeding program or institution and seed whose production is personally supervised by a qualified plant breeder, and which provides the source for the initial and recurring increase of foundation seed. Breeder seed shall be genetically so pure as to guarantee that in the subsequent generation that is certified foundation seed, class shall conform to the prescribed standards of genetic purity. The other quality factors of breeder seed such as physical purity, inert matter, germination etc. shall be indicated on the label on actual basis. B. Certified Seed Certified seed shall be the seed certified by certification agency notified under Section 8 of the Seeds Act, 1966 or seed certified by any certification agency established in any foreign country provided the certification agency has been recognized by the central government through notification in the official gazette. Certified seed shall consist of two classes, namely, foundation and certified seed and each class shall conform to the following description. It shall be the progeny of breeder seed, or be produced from foundation seed which can be clearly traced to breeder seed. Thus, foundation seed can even be produced from foundation seed. During the production of certified foundation seed, the following guidelines shall be observed. Certified foundation seed produced directly from breeder seed shall be designated as foundation seed stage I. Certified foundation seed produced from foundation seed stage I shall be designated as foundation seed stage II. Certified foundation seed stage II will not be used for further increase of foundation seed and shall be used only for production of certified seed class. Minimum seed certification standards shall be the same for both foundation seed stage I and II unless otherwise prescribed. Certification tag shall be of white color for both foundation seed stage I and II and shall contain the information as to its stage. Production of foundation seed. Stage II shall ordinarily be adopted in respect of such crop varieties provided, 
when it is expressly felt by the certification agency that breeder seed is in short supply. Production of foundation seed stage 2 may be adopted for the following group of crops. Vegetatively propagated crops. Apomictically reproduced crops. self po one li nate crops. Often cross-pollinated and cross-pollinated crops, these being gene pools should not lose their genetic identity and purity if measures to safeguard the same are adequately taken. Composite and synthetics. Parental line increase of hybrids. Certified seed. Two production of foundation seed stage I and two shall be supervised and approved by the certification agency and be so handled as to maintain specific genetic identity and genetic purity and shall be required to conform to certification standards specified for the crop slash variety being certified. Certified seed. Three certified seed shall be the progeny of foundation seed and its production shall he so handled as to maintain specific genetic identity and purity according to standards prescribed for the crop being certified. Certified seed may be the progeny of certified seed provided this reproduction does not exceed three generations beyond foundation seed stage I and it is determined by the certification agency that genetic identity and genetic purity will not be significantly altered. And when the certification agency is satisfied that there is genuine shortage of foundation seed despite all the reasonable efforts made by the seed producer, certification tag shall be of blue color for certified seed class. Certified seed produced from certified seed shall not be eligible for further seed increase under certification. Certification tags for such production which is not eligible for further seed increase under certification shall be superscribed with, not eligible for further seed increase under certification. 6 Phases of Seed Certification Certification shall be completed in 6 broad phases listed as under a. Receipt and Scrutiny of Application b. Verification of seed source, class, and other requirements of the seed used for raising the seed crop. C. Field inspections to verify conformity to the prescribed field standards. D. Supervision at post-harvest stages including processing and packing. E. Seed sampling and analysis, including genetic purity test and slash or seed health test, if any in order to verity conformity to the prescribed standards, and f. Grant of certificate and certification tags, tagging, and sealing. 7. Establishing source of seed. The individual intending to produce seed under certification shall submit to the certification agency, one or more relevant evidence such as certification tags, seals, labels, seed containers, purchase records, sale records etc., as may be demanded by the certification agency during submission of the application, its scrutiny, and slash or during first inspection of seed crop, in order to confirm if the seed used for raising the crop has been obtained from the source approved by it and conforms to the provisions contained in para v. This requirement also applies to both parents in seed production involving two parental one ENS. 8. Field Area for Certification There is no minimum or maximum limit for the area offered by a person for certification, provided the certified seed production meets all the prescribed requirements. Thank you guys to waiting my channel. If you have any query, don't forget to comment. If you like my video subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get notification of seed certification part 2.